up, what up, what up? It's your man, Alvin Majek, better known as Top Notch Bartender. And this is Conversations with a Bartender. Where you're gonna find conversations about this, about that, about everything in between. So, let's get into it. Today, y'all, look, man. It's been a long day for me. I'm not even gonna lie. Uh, I had to get up early this morning to take a client to uh, a doctor's appointment this morning. So my day started out roughly around about five this morning. Um, real early uh, for me, actually. So took him to the doctor this morning, got to work, you know, everything. And I, and I, and I sat down and I, I, while I was at work, I was thinking about what I was gonna do for my episode this evening and what I was gonna talk about. And didn't know, didn't know, but I went back to a conversation when uh, one of my homeboys and I had about doing a, a show about Long Island Ice Teas. Um, he's a guy from this New York <laughs> and that's one of his cocktails that he drink is Long Island Ice Teas. And, so I said, well, I could do that, you know, and I know it's different variations of the Long Island, so it would be cool to do a show about Long Island iced tea and the different variations so people can know what they can they can make at home. Uh, simple ingredients. All the things you already know that I make are simple ingredients. I don't I don't get into all those expensive crazy ingredients so you know people have to go and break the bank to go and buy to make simple cocktails at home that's what I do so tonight y'all I'm going to make about five different Long Island iced tea with different variation Long Island iced teas and if you don't know so the history of the Long Island iced tea People really don't know, but the only story that uh, that's out there for the Long Island Ice Tea is that this guy, this bartender named Rosebud Butt, <laughs> some type of name, right? Rosebud Butt. He worked in a bar in Long Island, um, and he was in a some type of bartending competition where they, was going, they were getting tested on using triple sec um, for the drink. So he basically, I guess, came up with this concoction, cocktail, concoction, whatever you want to call it, with triple sec in it. And I guess that was a new thing in Long Island. So they started calling the Long Island iced tea because of triple sec, I guess. I don't know, but if you don't know, you will know right now, I don't like triple sec. I'm gonna say I don't like the taste of it. I'm not trying to be funny about it, but I don't really like triple sec. I don't really like the taste of it. So I don't use it in my drinks. So then they say, well, you can use Contro. Well, Contro and triple sec kind of taste the same to me. Um, it has the same type of flavors. And if you don't know, both of them are liqueurs. They're liqueurs made from basically orange peels or orange zest or something like that, a lot of sugar, but I don't like to use those in my drinks. Now, if I have to, if I'm at work at a bar and it calls for control or triple sec, of course I'm gonna put it in there, but if you have been watching my shows, I don't use that because I'm at my own bar. So I'm gonna use what I wanna use and that's it. I'm gonna make my drinks the way I wanna make them. So that's gonna be it. Hopefully, everybody out there is doing pretty good this evening. I, 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 I'm sorry for not asking um, everybody how they doing this evening, but I'm doing well. I'm good. It's another show for me. Actually, I think this is actually my third episode, I want to say, for the podcast, I want to say it's the third episode. I, I'm, I'm thinking I'm, 
I'm thinking I'm doing all right. I'm improving every week, I hopefully. Uh, if you're tuning in, please comment. Leave some comments for me to let me know if you if you enjoying the show or what I need to do to make it better or, you know, just let me know. But for now, I think I'm cruising. I think I'm doing a little bit better to enhance things about the show. So it is what it is for right now. So I guess I'm going to get right into it because I got five drinks I'm going to make. Yes, I'm going to make five drinks and I'll probably drink one <laughs> myself. All the rest of them probably get thrown in the trash, in the sink, but I'm not going to drink them, um, but I probably will drink one, which I probably will drink the signature Long Island iced tea, that's what I'm thinking anyway, but I got a couple of variations here, so y'all stick with me, okay, so for the first one, of course we're going to need our mixing tools, okay, we're going to need our mixing tools, and so everybody know I, I ain't going to say everybody, but people who drink Long Island iced tea, they know that Long Islands have a lot of alcohol in it. They say a lot, but different alcohols. It's only uh, a half an ounce of each alcohol. So people use, people do the Long Islands. Now, if you're in, if, if, if you in college or if you young going to the bars or the clubs, you're not going to get the right type of Long Island you think you're gonna get. You're gonna get something thrown together with a lot of alcohol because they really don't care about proportions when it comes to those college clubs or those early young adult clubs. They just gonna put some alcohol together and make you feel like you're drinking a good drink. So you can party and that's it. But you're not really getting a real good drink because they're gonna use probably sour mix um, to make the cocktail or make the Long Island. Throw some alcohols together. You want to get the, 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 the bottom shelf alcohols, of course, to go on the Long Island. But that's what you're going to get. You're not going to get a whole lot of good Long Island iced teas unless you go to a nice restaurant, a nice bar, with real bartenders that are gonna take the time to give you a good drink. And that's just what it is. So, today y'all, or tonight, <laughs> sorry about that. Tonight, Long Island Iced Tea, this is how we starting it out. So, you know, we got a couple of liquors. So with the Long Island Iced Tea, you know, we have gin, you know, we have tequila, you know, we have rum, and you know, you have vodka. Well, it sounds like a lot of liquors in that. And some people don't do it the way every other bartender do it. I'm gonna do it the way I do it. So what I'm gonna start out with, of course, is my cheap ingredients, of course. So I'm gonna start out with some simple syrup. I'm trying to think, oh, yeah. I'm gonna start out with some simple syrup. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a, I'm gonna take a, you know me, I'm, put it this way, I like, I like uh, a little bit of sweetness with a little bit of killer alcohol in it. So I'm gonna give myself an ounce, or a half an ounce of simple syrup. Half ounce of simple syrup. That's what I'm gonna do there. Got out. That's how we're going to do that. Okay. Then we're going to do uh, some lemon juice. Freshly squeezed lemon juice. Now you can put as much. Most of the time people say put at least a quarter ounce of lemon juice or whatever. I'm going to put some nice amount of lemon juice in mine. Because I know it is going to be a lot of alcohol. Not a lot of alcohol, but different alcohol. So I want to be able to taste that sweetness and that tartness within that drink also, okay? So, I'm building it this way. This is how we're gonna do it. So, now we're gonna get some vodka. For this one, I'm gonna use this freeze vodka. And I'm gonna do a half, an ounce and a half of freeze vodka. I mean, a half an ounce, I'm sorry. 
half ounce of freeze ball. Y'all be bit. Y'all be bit if y'all had the dog gonna drink all the dog gonna uh, a whole ounce of, of vodka. Then I'm gonna use some Bacardi rum on this one right here, okay? For the rum. And I'm gonna do a half ounce of Bacardi rum on this one. Do a half ounce of Bacardi rum on that one right there. That's how I'm gonna do that. All right. Then I'm gonna go over into some gin. I'm gonna do the Amsterdam gin. Half ounce. Of course, half ounce on everything, okay? Half ounce. Put that in there, half ounce. Then I'm gonna go over here to some tequila. I got some Luna Zool. Tequila, if you don't know Luna Zool, I got some Luna Zool tequila, so you can uh, pick this up at the liquor store. Luna Zool is pretty good mix of tequila. I haven't had any issues with it, of course, but it tastes pretty good, so we're gonna try that. Half ounce. A little Zool tequila. That's how we're gonna do that. So here we go with that. Boom, just like that right there. We're gonna do that. Ah, put that back up there. Then we're gonna get our ice. We're gonna take us some ice. We're gonna shake. We're gonna shake. We're gonna shake. We're gonna shake. Make sure it's cold. There we go. There we go. Get our strainer. This is how we're gonna do this right here. Look the color on that. Look at the color on that. <laughs> now I like that. Now I like that. Now we're gonna put us a we're gonna put us a nice lemon wheel too in that right there. That's what we're gonna do for that. We're gonna take these and we're gonna place them right in there like that. We're gonna place them right in there just like that. We're gonna get our straw, put our straw in there. Salud. This is the Adios, motherfucker. That's great. That's great. Oh my God. That tastes so good. Oh, that's delicious. But you know, one thing you do, top it off with some Sprite. Even make it better. Try to make it better. Top it off with that Sprite. Even make it better. Mm. That Sprite make everything ring through. I should have put it in before, but man, that Sprite make everything ring through. That's that adios. My God, my God. So, let's move on. Next drink. So next drink is called the Long Beach. Don't know why. I guess it's out there in Cali somewhere. But this is the Long Beach. Now, it's everything the same way, same type of mix. We're going to do everything the same. But we're just going to use just a little different variation of this drink. Okay? So here we go. Simple syrup, half ounce, as usual. You already know. Really. We're gonna do a half ounce of simple syrup. We're gonna do some freshly squeezed lemon juice. And this one, I'm dropping stuff and everything. I'm not even gonna worry about that. I'm working right now. I'm working, I'm working. Do some freshly squeezed lemon juice. Bye-bye, just like that right there. Fresh squeezed lemon juice. Then we're gonna go to our Liquors, so we got Amsterdam gin. It don't matter what what order you go in, but we got a half ounce of that gin. Y'all already know, bam, half ounce of gin, just like that. We got that vodka. 
You know, we got that vodka, half ounce, bam, just like that. Hey man, shout, shout out to my man, Cease. He already know what I'm talking about. My man, Big Cease, he the one who asked me about the Long Island iced tea. So Cease, I'm giving you Long Island iced tea and I'm giving you some other ones, variations, man, to this drink. So you got a couple you can drink on Saturday, Sunday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and if you want to drink one on Tuesday and Wednesday, you can. So I'm giving you a couple of them, bro. This is how we do it. So I'm going to give you a half ounce of Bacardi. Give you a half ounce of Bacardi. Bam, just like that. Then I'm going to give you a half ounce of this Luna Zool here. Half ounce of this Luna Zool. Half ounce of this Luna Zool. We're gonna do a half ounce of that Luna Zool, just like that. Man. You know what time it is. Ice time, baby. Ice time. Ice time. We're ice time. We're gonna shake up. We're gonna shake up. Shake up. Oh, I didn't even get my glass. We got my glass there. We're gonna, we're gonna shake up, just like that. Make sure she's good to go. Guess what? We need some ice. We need some ice. All right, we got our ice. So, this is what we're going to do. We're going to go ahead and we're going to make that drink again because it just didn't work out. I know I needed ice and it sat in the ice too long. It sat there for too long. So, this is what we're going to do. We're going to make this drink one more time. Okay. So we got, we got everything in here, but this is how we're gonna do this right here. We're gonna start again. And this is the Long Beach, okay? Half ounce. Simple syrup. Bam, we're gonna do that like that. We're gonna do freshly squeezed lemon juice. Just like that. Then we're gonna do Half ounce of gin. Half ounce of gin goes in. Half ounce of gin goes in. We're going to do what's a half ounce of Bacardi. You know how we do. Bam. Half ounce of Bacardi. We're going to do a half ounce of vodka. Half ounce of vodka. Bam. There we go. And then we're going to do a half ounce of Luna Jewel. Do a half ounce of Luna Zool. Bam, just like that. <laughs> That's how we do, man. That's how we do. Give us some ice. Give us some ice. Top off. Take it up. Take it up. Take it up. Take it up. All right. Mm. That's how we do that. We're gonna take our handy dandy strainer. We're gonna pour it in there like that right there. Just like that. Then what we're gonna do for the Long Beach, we're gonna take some cranberry juice. And top off. Just like that. Just like that. We're gonna top her off with the long beats like that. And then what we're gonna do for her is uh with my knife. What y'all what y'all do with my knife? I know y'all what y'all oh stay with my knife. I got my knife gonna fell down. I'm gonna wipe my knife off. Wipe it down and everything. She done fell down on me. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this right here. We're gonna take a lemon wheel. Then we're gonna take a cherry on this one. It's a Long Beach. We're gonna take us a cherry and a lemon wheel. And we're gonna put those together. Just like that. Taste it, I guess, huh? 
to look good though. Ooh. And this is the Long Beach. That's good. That's real good. Ooh. That cranberry be bussin. That cranberry is bussin. That cranberry is bussin. Oh. Alright. To the next drink. You already know. Here we go. Let's do this. Alright, so the next drink, y'all, is the Tokyo tea. Alright? So this is everything as usual, but made a little different. Alright? So let's jump right into it. We're gonna get a half ounce. Simple syrup. That's how we do. We're gonna get us some freshly squeezed lemon juice. Freshly squeezed lemon juice. That's how we do. Alright. Then we're going with all our liquors again. We're going with all our liquors again. We're going to do all our liquors one more time. Bam. Just like that. Hit them with the half ounce of that, that gin. We're going to hit them with a half ounce of that loon zoo. Ah. And then we're going to hit them with an ounce of that. Cardi. Yes, sir. That Cardi. Just like that right there. Bam. And then we're going to hit a half ounce of that vodka. We're going to hit them just like that right there. Bam. Just like that. Put that back there. Now, this is my first time even making all these. I haven't made all these before, but hey, tonight. I'm making all these tonight. And look, this is a good thing to go with this now. This drink calls for Maduri. So if you don't know what Maduri is, Maduri is a, a melon liqueur. Um, and it's green. So I already got some in my little handy dandy glass container here. And I'm gonna do a quarter of an ounce of Maduri. Bam, just like that. We're gonna change the we're gonna change the game up with that right there. So then we're gonna drop on some ice in there. Like that, so we can shake it up. Just like that, make sure she's tight. And then we're gonna shake. We're gonna shake. Just like that. Then I ain't even get my oh here we go. I'm gonna get my get some ice. Put some ice in there. Like that. Put as much ice as you want to, it don't matter. I'm gonna do mine like that right there. And then we're gonna take this and we're gonna pour it. Look at that color. Ooh, look at that color. We're gonna pour that like that. And then the rest is spiked. We're gonna top off with some Sprite. Just like that. We're gonna take us some lemon. Wheel. And we're gonna put her in there. Just like that right there too. And then we're gonna taste her. Damn, that's good, damn. That might be the best one. That, damn. Okay, so, whoo, boy. Let me take that again, shit. Hmm. Hey. That one right there, bussin'. Bussin', 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 bussin'. She bussin', I ain't even gonna lie. Whoo, okay, so. This next one, y'all, Texas tea. This is how we doing this one right here, all right? So, same ingredients, of course. Half ounce of simple syrup. You running out of simple syrup, y'all. You running out of ingredients, y'all. God damn. We half ounce of simple syrup. We're gonna take us some, some lemon juice, freshly squeezed, of course. Bam, just like that. Then we're gonna take all our other ingredients just like before. 
And we're gonna take these and we're gonna put them in there. Bam, just like that. No half stepping. No matter what order you go in, as long as you go. As long as you go. As long as, look, no matter what order you go in, as long as you go, okay? Okay, as long as you put them in there. So we're gonna put that in there. We're gonna put this tequila half ounce in there. Boom, just like that. Bam, make sure you got that in there. And we're gonna go with this vodka. We're gonna go with that vodka half ounce of that right there in there. Bam, just like that. Just like that right there. All right, we're gonna do that right there. So we got everything in there. I think we got everything in there. Then we're gonna put up some ice. And run it down low on ice, y'all. I'm at the crib. Yeah, I should've probably been prepared, huh? Uh, okay, it's okay. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna... We're gonna shake. Make sure she's straight. Take our glass, put her over here, just like that. We're gonna take all the ice that we got left. We ain't got that much left, but we're gonna take all the ice we got left. Don't hate. <laughs> Don't hate on me, okay? Fresh ice. But we're gonna strain them. We're gonna put that in there like that right there. Matter of fact, don't tell nobody. Don't show. Hey. I know it's not a good rule, but we're going to fluff it up with some more ice. This last one, okay? But this one right here is the Texas tea, okay? Now, you know what? I'm going to tell you what I did wrong on the Texas tea, actually. What I did wrong on the Texas tea was, and I'm going to do that again because I messed that up totally. You want to know why? I was supposed to put that good bourbon in there. I'm gonna put some Evan Williams in there. So I'm supposed to put a half ounce of bourbon in there. Yep. Let's put that in there. I messed that up. That was my fault. I'm not used to making this one right here, so hey, don't fault me. I make mistakes. Take it out some more. I make mistakes all the time. It wouldn't be right if I didn't. And watch how, the, watch how the drink come out though. Watch this. Because guess what? I am top notch bartender. So I'm gonna correct my mistake and guess what? Guess what? How this look gonna look? Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Now, talk about me. You know what I'm saying? Talk about me now. Look at me now. So watch how I do this. Look at me now. Look at me now. I'm gonna stick that on there right there. Texas tea. Hmm, that's, I don't even know. Like, hmm. Hmm. Between these two right here, right here, between these two right here, man, they good. Now these are really good. These, this is really good. But these right here, good Lord. I see, I've had Long Island, like, I drink Long Island. I've had Long Island. They good, they get you there. All the way there. I think this right here, the adios motherfucker. I think this one right here is more about the aesthetics of it, the color. It's more of a tropical light. I mean, you can taste everything in it, the lemon. You can definitely taste the tequila coming out. But I think it's more of a, a tropical, but I think that's more for aesthetics. Uh, this one right here, the Long Beach, of course, Long Beach, you have the, of course, tropical looking drink also. You definitely have the cranberry ringing out, but you taste everything else in it. Now, these drinks right here, 
would do great at any bar, any college bar, any restaurant, anywhere. They, I will size them up against any cocktail list, menu, or whatever. So, this is what I do, man. So, I don't know about y'all. I mean, tell me what you think. You know, comment. Send your comments in. Let me know what you think. I know I had some glitches, some things to fall, and, you know, but that's, that's just how the things go on a podcast. It don't work out all the time the way you want it to go. So you have to try to maneuver to make up certain things. And I'm still learning on the podcast. You know, like I said, this is my third episode, but I'm learning, you know, it's a podcast. So, you, and, and this is conversations with a, part, with a bartender. So I'm having conversations with y'all about my drinks and what I do. So it's a it's a thing that I'm trying to get used to. It's something that uh, that I'm haven't mastered yet. I'm trying to. I'm learning every day. Uh, but it's something that I want to do. It's something that makes me happy. And this is something that uh, I want to pursue. You know, as far as my goal in life. You know, I want to be able to provide good beverages to the masses. But I want to be able to provide my signature beverages, you know. So this is not just something that I'm doing just to be doing, just to get some clout. This is a passion of mine. So when I'm talking about spirits and I'm talking about wine and I'm talking about juices and I'm talking about sodas and fruits and everything that comes with this stuff here, You know, this is this is what it is. This is this is what drives me. This is what makes me who I am when it comes to my passion. Uh, this is my passion. I I do have two passions. One passion is the 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 industry that I love, and that's mental health. That's a passion for me. Is to help and give back um, to the less fortunate or the ones that ain't, that's incapable of taking care of themselves. So. That's my passions, and this is my passion, wine and spirits. So, as you can see, look at these drinks, man. All of them look different, look at that. That look different. The Texas tea look different. Uh, Which one is this right here? The Texas tea is different. The Adios motherfucker is different. The, the, The Long Beach is different. The... Tokyo tea is different. All of them are different. Everything looks different up here. And that's what I like. I like the colors, everything. So that's just what it is about me. You know, another podcast, another story written, another night in the books. You know, there's just another conversation for me. And I like it. (laughs) <laughs> so if you start seeing uh, a little bit of my real personality come out as time go by that's just what it is you know I'm a silly dude I ain't gonna say silly but I'm a funny dude and I like to have fun and I like to conversate so and it's kind of funny because me conversating with people that's not there, I'm trying to get used to. I'm trying to get used to conversating with y'all out there. It's it's kind of hard conversating with people that you can't see, that's not right in front of you. So you gotta get used to it. And that's what I'm doing right now. I'm getting used to it, but I like it. You know, I like doing this. I like telling y'all about these cocktails and yeah, I, I, I wish I did have somebody here tonight to drink these cocktails, but this is not what this is for. This is for me to show what I do and for y'all to be able to get some information about making cocktails at home. So if you if you if you don't know, we're gonna we're gonna go and do a recap of all the cocktails, okay? So this right here is the classic long long island iced tea. It has now my version of Long Island Nice Tea, okay? It has simple syrup, it has freshly squeezed lemon juice, 
has tequila, vodka, rum, and gin. And then it has a top off with Coke. Classic for me, that's what it is. All right? So the next one is the Adios Motherfucker. So that is all the things I said, the gin, the vodka, the tequila, the rum, has all that in there, freshly squeezed lemon juice, simple syrup, and then it has blue carousel in there, top it off with Sprite. Refreshing drink, really tasty, really delicious. The next one is the Long Beach. Everything in order. We're just gonna replace the blue carousel. We're gonna replace the Coke with cranberry juice. Top it off with a little bit of Sprite. Delicious. Oh my God. You're gonna love it. Try it at home. Come on. So the next one, <laughs> one of my favorites actually is um, the Tokyo Tea. Those out there who want to come by the crib and get you a taste of it, let me know. But the Tokyo Tea is real nice. Hmm. Damn. Real refreshing. All the liquors that we said before, but we're going to use Midori Millen Liquor liqueur with that, and then we're going to top off with Sprite. Freshly squeezed lemon juice. Oh my god. Oh my god. Uh, oh my god. Uh, oh my god. God. Oh my god. All right. So the next one, y'all, is uh the Texas tea. So the Texas tea, I kind of would miss the ingredients on one of the, the Texas tea, but it's all the liquors, then some. So you got all the liquor. You got the rum. You got the vodka. You got the king. You got the gin. And then on top of that, you got bourbon or whiskey or whatever you want to put in there for the Texas tea. Don't know why they call it Texas because bourbon is out of Kentucky. So they should have called it Kentucky tea, but they call it the Texas tea. I guess they drink a lot of damn bourbon or whatever in, in, in Texas. So that's the lineup. Long Island variations, you know. So thanks to the guy Rosebud Butt back in 1972. Thanks to him, we have all these variations of the Long Islands stemming from the first Long Island. So, man, look, it's been great tonight. I appreciate y'all tuning in, coming to chat with me, comment, do what you gotta do. Man, I appreciate it. You can check me out everywhere. You already know where I'm at. I'm on YouTube. I'm on IG. I'm on Facebook. I'm on Twitter. Man, look, you can email me. I'm everywhere. I am the traveling bartender. I do travel. I will come see your limited quarantine party if I need to. So hit me up. Let me know what's good. Comment. But look, I need for you to like, I need for you to subscribe, I need for you to share. When you're at the crib, chilling home, man, look, tune in, just check me out. I'm doing the podcast every week, but I'm putting out shows on YouTube every week about just little things, you know, little beverages or wine or whatever. So just good information that you can soak up and utilize for your own experiences and for your own use. So, once again, this is Conversations with a Bartender, and I am Top Notch Bartender. And, guess what? <laughs> we out. Peace up. A-Town down. Much love.